Today on Game Stinger, everything's delayed in 2020, except for Doom Eternal, so far. We shine a spotlight on The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, and rewind back to 1999 in Kingpin Life of Crime, who also has a remaster coming soon. Let's load it up. What's going on, everybody? I'm Jeff Porter from Game Stinger, and we have so many delays this year already. Final Fantasy VII Remake is pushed back to April, Cyberpunk 2077 is pushed back to September, along with Marvel's Avengers, and Dying Light 2 recently was delayed until... nobody really knows, but this happens for several reasons, though. Many developers want to polish up and make sure their game is in the best uh, position it can be at launch, Well, another good thing is, for us anyways, it kind of helps spread out the releases a little bit. It's not necessarily always a matter of buying the title, but the time that we have to play it. So giving us some breathing room in the middle may just be the thing that we need. Not delayed yet, though, is the new Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal set to release on March 20th, and so far it looks like we might get it. We've already seen several companies and streamers post their early copies, and the game just looks ready and it's awesome it's ready to go features everything that we love about the doom series like big guns lots of gore and plenty of demons to kill here's the hopeful wishing that it doesn't get delayed fingers crossed now onto our game spotlight featuring the walking dead saints and sinners saints and sinners released on steam yesterday it's a vr title so you must have your headset ready It creates an amazing atmosphere that calls back to the television series, while at the same time implementing the visual style of the Walking Dead Telltale series. And it makes a perfect experience out of it. I don't know how they combine the two, but it works perfectly. It allows you to grab zombies by the head, throw them around, and interact with your environment. Experience the world of the Walking Dead through VR. You can download it now on Steam. Now let's throw back a few decades and remember the title Kingpin Life of Crime. Developed by Zatrix Entertainment, the same company responsible for the Redneck Rampage games, the title begins with the player being beaten all to hell by the Kingpin's associates, and the whole game is just you out for revenge. It's simple, to the point, and was very entertaining. Now, over 20 years later, it's getting a remaster. The source code thought to be lost was recently discovered, and it's making our way back into our screens. We cannot wait to see this title grace our screens again in HD. What do you think of the delays, and did you ever play Kingpin Life of Crime? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Jeff Porter from Game Stinger, and remember to follow us on Facebook and check out our site. And we'll see you again next week.